Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. All right, everybody, we've got some rain on Storm Tracker tonight. Nothing super heavy, but certainly some action, mainly in northern New York and northwestern Vermont. Just a little bit of line right here of rain, a little bit of the line. Not far from Moore's and over toward Rouse's Point, Champlain. You can follow this back uh, as you head on over to places like Danamora. And then on down to the south where the green is a little bit darker here in Essex County in northern New York. We've got some moderate rain coming down. Westport kind of wet right on down to Scroon Lake. So we widen out a little bit. I want to show you why it is going to rain for a while around here. Look at upstream where the weather is coming from. Big chunk of moisture that is going to work its way toward us. Now note, a lot of the heavier stuff is off to the east a little bit, and it looks like southern New Hampshire and then into Maine could get nailed pretty well from this. So here's the thing. Severe weather watches, we've got one that affects us. We've got a flash flood watch in effect for parts of the Connecticut River Valley on the New Hampshire side. So just be aware, could be looking at another couple of inches before all is said and done. Of course, we've already seen some rain out there today. Hurricane Irma sustained winds still. This has been going on a long time, 185 miles an hour. We've got a west northwest movement on this thing at 16. So I'll give you a little perspective here. This is Puerto Rico. And then you get into Hispaniola, Dominican Republic here, Haiti right here. Looks like this is going to go to the north of that island, and that's obviously great news. But the Turks and Caicos in the line of fire next, so we'll continue to watch that for you. From the National Hurricane Center, here's the latest track from the 8 o'clock advisory. So this thing misses Puerto Rico, heads toward Cuba. Looks like it may just stay to the north of it, at least the center of the cone here is suggesting that still a category four hurricane at that point, then it makes a turn. So by Sunday morning into early afternoon, this thing is certainly knocking on the door of Miami, at least in the center of the cone here. And that's really important because you talk about the cone of uncertainty here. Here's the thing. We're looking at examples from forecast models out there, each line uh, just representing one of those models. And you'll notice that they have shifted off to the east some, but so many of them coming right over Miami. We may, we may actually get a couple of landfalls out of this thing because it looks like it's going to be very close to Miami. So maybe a landfall. We'll see how this all pans out. Remember, within the cone, it could be anywhere in there, may go over the water again, maybe making another landfall, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Got a lot of stuff that uh, is unanswered. We'll have to watch here. 60 degrees as we come back locally. That's Burlington, 59 degrees. Plattsburgh, Bennington at 58. For tomorrow, some rain showers around in the morning becoming more scattered. I think we'll find some breaks of sunshine. And with that during the afternoon, we may find a thunderstorm. So here's Futurecast looking ahead. One o'clock in the morning. Here's that rain to the south coming through. Going to rain pretty heavily for a while. First thing tomorrow, we've got some rain showers around. Then breaks of sunshine, showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms. Doesn't look like anything severe at all. Then we get you into Friday. I think we find a lot of clouds. Best chances for rain showers will be by Friday afternoon. For tonight, scattered showers and then rain overnight, 55 degrees for a low. For tomorrow, we've got scattered rain showers during the afternoon, maybe a thunderstorm or two. High temperature 69 Burlington, 68 Plattsburgh. We'll call it 73 degrees in Lebanon. Five day forecast. Next couple of days, kind of wet, 69, maybe an afternoon thunderstorm or two tomorrow. Afternoon showers on Friday, 65. Still the chance for a couple of showers Saturday. We're starting to dry though, 64 degrees. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, mostly sunny. Temperatures back into the 70s. Irma perhaps starting to affect us a little bit by Wednesday. We'll watch that. High that day in the mid 70s.